Okay, hi guys. Uh, today I want to do a, a little setup tour because I am moving soon and uh, this is probably the coolest this place has ever been. And so I want to kind of capture that because I can't take it with me. So I can, you know, I'm taking my laptop, my camera, you know, a few other things, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna miss this place. I just wanna share it with you because this is what I've been working with for the last year, what I've been streaming with on Twitch. As a lot of you know, I stream development on Twitch. So uh, if you, you wanna see that, there's a link down below. I put up a tweet the other day after I cleaned my room of the setup. A lot of people had questions about whether it's even necessary why I have such a tiny mouse pad. And I just thought, why not show you guys what I use everything for? Uh, but before we go into this, because I find these videos somewhat pretentious from the get go, um, this is, this whole thing is 10 years worth of collecting stuff. It looks more impressive and expensive than it actually is. And some of the stuff I even got for free as well. Uh, thank you, Algardo. So this is where I sit every day. Uh, the chair is old. I'm not cool and I don't have a nice gamer chair. I've got cushions on it. It's fairly comfortable. And sometimes I've been known to bring over the couch and put it here <laughs> and have optimum comfort. Just a bit of context. This room is actually my parents' old living room. Uh, the new living room is, is in the kitchen. In my house, uh, there's a lot of creative people. My sister is an artist and my mom is also an artist. And this here, this is, uh, this is my mom's studio and she does art in here. And then right back in here is my studio. I put all this junk here, sorry dad, but this is, uh, this is where my dad sits sometimes. There's my 100K plaque, not that that matters because what the hell does that even mean anymore? Over here is where I keep like equipment and I charge stuff. Uh, recently I got a bunch of these um, wireless charging pads. So you can just put a phone on that on that and it will charge. Uh, I go through a lot of storage. I'm constantly having to buy these hard drives. Uh, I currently have about 50, maybe 55 terabytes in there. Not all of it's in there because I keep them in, uh, in airlocked boxes for storage. Yeah, it's probably a good 20 terabytes sat in there. Most of it is from VODs, from streaming. I need somewhere to store them all because I archive everything. Maybe one day it will come in useful, who knows? So I got this recently for when I go traveling, an SSD. It's a 50 millimeter Sony. This is the another lens for this camera. This, this is a beautiful lens for cinematography. Any filmmaker has a 50 mil handy at all times. I got a lot of people complaining about my cable management. And to be honest with you, I don't care for cable management. I'm not obsessed with putting it all in trunking because there's nothing worse than saying, oh, I need that wire and then having to rip it out of trunking. You waste more time dealing with cable management than you do just like putting it behind and then just pretending it's not there. I mean, it doesn't look bad. I have just some power outlets and it's just easy access. Plug it in, take it out. A few wires, but it, it doesn't bother me at all. I feel like a lot of people uh, tend to think of setups as like an art piece. Whereas for me, it is purely productivity. People were complaining about the size of my mouse mat. So I got a bigger mouse mat. I had this one. This was my old mouse mat here and it sat right there. And people were saying that it was too small. And I realized why they were saying it because they're all gamers. Now I'm not much of a gamer. You know, this is the first step to getting better as a gamer, get a bigger mouse mat. Keyboard is a Q pad. It's not my favorite keyboard. I would get a different one if I could. Um, but there's not really too much point because I'm leaving soon. The Cherry MX Black switches, they're quite clicky. I'm a big fan of the, the clickiness purely because uh, programming, it, it, it's more satisfying to type with that, you know, really nice clicky sound. On stream, it's kind of a little bit ASMR-y. I kind of like that. I have an iPad here, uh, mainly for scheduling and I use it as well for designing stuff and uh, drawing up notes. It might seem trivial to have an iPad. The amount of use I've got out of this when it comes to responding to emails on time, I, I, I love this iPad. It's increased my productivity. This here is a calendar called Fantastical. I highly recommend this calendar. You know, while I'm working, while I'm streaming, I can always keep on top of if I have a meeting or if I have an important email to respond to. Running a company now, the, this this stuff is extremely important. My main screen is obviously my, my primary work screen. So when I'm streaming, that's what the stream sees. This here is VS Code, the superior code editor. If you are a programmer, I recommend VS Code. If you go to my streams, you can see more about what extensions I use and uh, the theme and all that jazz. I'm usually streaming. So if you're watching this video, there's a high chance I may be streaming. So definitely go check that out and see if I am. This monitor is kind of uh, 
mainly OBS and Discord. Um, when I'm streaming, I usually am working with people. Right now, I'm just hanging out with a bunch of uh, friends and people I work with on here. Usually, we have our screen shares on and we can see what each other's doing. And uh, I actually feed OBS into Discord using a cam link. When I turn on the camera here, they can see what's on my OBS and I can move this around, probably wondering what I'm doing now. Hi, everybody. So up here, I have uh, my stream dashboard so I can see the chat. Um, and I can see how many viewers there are and the activity feed of who's following. And then I also have a donation activity feed up in the top so I can see uh, Streamlab donations. And then this one is where I have Spotify. I can't work and stream without soundtracks. So I have uh, a lot of different playlists of movie soundtracks and um, ambient music and beats to relax and study to. <laughs> This giant screen is propped up on top of my PC tower. This is this is just a, a television screen. Well, I've had this since like 2014 and no one's been using it because this room again used to be a living room. Um, and so there's no, there was no use for the TV in here. So I moved the TV cabinet behind my desk, put the PC tower on top of that and then put the TV on top of that. So recently Elgato were kind enough to send me this giant collapsible uh, green screen. And this is incredible by the way. Like, Elgato, you outdid yourself with that. The amount of years I've spent like going to fabric shops and getting like uh, green material and then pinning it to wood or something to try and create a green screen. There's no creases, it's flawless. And I'm not actually being paid to say this, they just sent me one for free. That's technically being paid to, to say this, but uh, you know, I mean, like I'm not like, you can see it. Like you can look at this and see how great this is. Like, Elgato, I love you. They did also send me this key light, which is really useful because it hooks up to the stream deck that they sent me <laughs> as well. And I can press that and turn on that light. I can also control uh, the hue lights with the stream deck. The stream deck can do pretty much anything. You can even have these folders and launch games from it. There's a guy in my stream chat called uh, Lemon Android and uh, he's quite unpredictable with his behavior. And so I have a button program to time him out. Now, the only reason why I don't just ban him is because he donates bits. So we have a button when he's being unpredictable or harassing someone in my chat, I just press the button and it times him out. There's a regular timeout and then a big timeout. So this is when he's being really naughty. This one is like, delete his messages, shut up lemon, you're being annoying. This one makes lemonade, okay? <laughs> So my MacBook is what is gonna be coming with me uh, on my travels. This thing is my, my primary work environment. When I go to bed, I continue working on the MacBook. When I go traveling, I work on the MacBook. Um, it really does everything, video editing, programming. Well, with the software development, if you're building an iOS app, you pretty much have to have a, an Apple computer because they don't let you compile iOS apps on a PC. So if you're building cross-platform mobile apps and you're gonna, you're gonna need a MacBook. We recently got a MacBook for every developer on the Notify team so that they can help me out with the mobile app. So uh, another thing I use on here is Sketch where uh, this is, you can see the different screens of the mobile app that I design on Sketch. Once I'm happy with those designs, we then build them in code. I'm not gonna bother promoting the Focusrite because I have a new preamp coming tomorrow. This thing has caused me nothing but stress. It shits itself every five minutes and I have to unplug and replug it, but whatever, who cares? This microphone is the Rode NT1A. Uh, and I got this when I was, I think for my 16th birthday. So I've had this for a, a long time and honestly, it is still working and good to this day. And then this is a Rode uh, desk clamp. Can't really go wrong with a Rode NT1A. It's a good microphone. Over here I have my passport because I'm gonna be traveling soon. Prescription sunglasses and my prescription regular glasses. Um, then I have a little card holder. These uh, are Bose wireless headphones. I got these recently and I cannot recommend these more than any, any headphones I've ever tried, these take the cake. They're incredible. And uh, if you're a fan of music or, or sound in general, get these headphones. I can't stress it enough. The noise cancellation is unmatched. This is, an, this is a bag I got recently. I got it on Amazon. Honestly, don't really know much about it, but uh, this is the first time in, what, over 10 years that I've gotten a new bag and I'm excited about that. So um, hopefully this will hold most of my gear when I travel. These are just softbox lights from photo cell or whatever, I don't know. This is an old camera, uh, but I use it as a webcam. It is a Lumix, or is a Panasonic GH4. Um, 
and uh, it works. It's probably not meant to be used as a webcam, but I use it as a webcam. It's hooked up to one of those um, DC batteries. So the, it's like a fake battery that goes in there and then this plugs into the mains. And uh, then a HDMI goes into a game capture, an Elgato game capture and boom, it's on OBS. You can see my two camera angles there. That is a Logitech webcam on a, on a pole, uh, which plugs into this USB here. And so that's my second camera. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Apparently gamers need lots of room to move their hands because they have low sensitivity so they can aim better. You know, it makes sense. And I'm gonna be a pro gamer now. Catch me in uh, Overwatch League. Yeah, because people still play Overwatch. I do. But if I play it on stream, everyone leaves though, because nobody likes gaming on my channel. They just want nerd stuff. These are my mum's curtains. This is the living room, like I said. I am not gonna deface my parents' living room and take down the curtains. Um, you know, it, this, is, uh, I, this is not my house. It is my parents' house. I respect the curtains. And to be honest, I've gotten used to the curtains. So before you complain and say those are disgusting curtains, I'll have you know that Notch complimented these curtains, okay? On Twitter, if Notch approves, you should too. I have a seek discomfort flag over here because yes theory are incredible. And then this is a painting my mum did of me when I was a baby holding a teddy bear. <laughs> this is a drone I broke years ago and it still flies. So I keep trying to break it, but it still won't die. Um, Oh, and then here, this is the Bible for Minecrafters. This thing was for sale in a church, okay? Like an actual church. This isn't like a how to play Minecraft. This is an act, these are actual Bible stories in Minecraft. Canon M3 and iPhone 6, power bank, watch. That's everything, bye.